with this film, bringing in Neville Dean Taylor, can you talk about working with them and the new tone that they brought to the franchise? Very new. Um, that's the perfect word. Well, Mark, you know, he's not afraid to risk his life to get shots. I mean, he's on rollerblades. He, it's an actual patent that he has. Only he can do that. Hold a giant camera, hold on to a Yamaha VMAX on rollerblades, risk his life to entertain you by getting a wild shot in 3D, no less. So that, that'll have like, a, like an extreme sports energy to it. And then we're still dealing with this sort of hidden, you know, occult, spooky subject matter that only the Ghost Rider can have. Can you talk about the character? How has Johnny Blaze changed since the first film? He's been dealing with having his head on fire for several years now. <laughs> so in the first movie, you know, his head had not ignited yet. He was much more of like a kind of an innocent uh, goofball, and um, which was fun in itself. But this one is, he's, he's, it's had an effect on his personality. He's more sarcastic, he's, he's more edgy, but hopefully, hopefully still, still funny for you. But uh, it's, it's a darker presentation of the character. I wanted to know so much about your character, but Blackout, did you take, what did you take from the comic book? What kind of inspiration did you draw from the character? I, I mean, I, I drew most of my inspiration from the script, but also there were two photos of him that I, um, I, 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 I kind of touched on that inspiration and then it, it started, there was a, a little bit of Travis Bickle and then a little bit of um, um, Sid Vicious in, with one part. What was that other guy? That, uh, Fonz, right? And then he basically becomes Blackout and he's all Fonz. So you added the rock and roll element to the character? I, I, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I was talking to Nick and he talked about your specific style of directing and how that is applied to this franchise. Could you talk about that? Yeah, we like to keep the energy up. We both like to camera operate. We like to keep things moving. Uh, a lot of times on sets, actors will get a little bored because, you know, they got to go back to the trail or they got to wait for us. We want to keep shooting, shooting, shooting. Uh, we, we do crazy things like we'll hang out of helicopters. We'll get on rollerblades and hold on to the back of a motorcycle to make it look faster and make it look more dangerous. Uh, and we just wanted to apply all of our little sort of indie movie skills to a big budget mainstream movie with a giant star like Nicolas Cage. And it was like a dream, a huge dream. Nick says that you guys risk your life for the entertainment value, for our entertainment value, is that? Our, our approach to action is, if it looks dangerous, it's because it was dangerous. You know, and, and if, if we almost bust our ass shooting the thing, then that's gonna, that's gonna end up on screen somehow.